Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Introduction to the formula F equals math equals math equals ma and its components. Answer. Introduction to the formula F equals ma. The formula F equals ma is one of the most fundamental equations in physics, specifically in the field of classical mechanics. It describes the relationship between force, F, mass, M, and acceleration, A. This equation is often referred to as Newton's second law of motion, named after Sir Isaac Newton, who formulated it in the 17th century. Understanding this formula is crucial for analyzing how objects move and interact with forces in our everyday lives. Key Concepts 1. Force F. Force is a push or pull acting upon an object. It is a vector quantity, which means it has both magnitude, how strong the force is, and direction, the direction in which the force is applied. The unit of force in the International System of Units, SI, is the Newton in. One Newton is defined as the force required to accelerate a one kilogram mass by one meter per second squared. Two, mass, m. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object. It is a scalar quantity, meaning it only has magnitude and no direction. The unit of mass in the SI system is the kilogram, kg. Mass is often confused with weight, but they are different. Weight is the force exerted by gravity on an object while mass is a measure of. The objects matter. Three, acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object. It indicates how quickly an object is speeding up or slowing down. Like force, acceleration is also a vector quantity. The unit of acceleration in the SI system is meters per second squared, m slash s superscript two. This means that if an object accelerates at one meter per square second, its velocity increases by one meter per second every second. The relationship explained. The formula F equals M A states that the force acting on an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its acceleration. This relationship can be broken down as follows. If you apply a greater force to an object, it will accelerate more. For example, if you push a shopping cart, the harder you push, greater force. The faster will move, greater acceleration. If the mass of the object increases, the same amount of force will result in less acceleration. For instance, if you try to push a heavy car with the same force you use to push the shopping cart, the car will not accelerate as much because it has a much larger mass. Practical Applications 1. Everyday Examples. Driving a car. When you press the accelerator pedal, the engine generates a force that propels the car forward. The car's mass and the force produced by the engine determine how quickly the car accelerates. Sports. In sports like basketball, when a player jumps, the force exerted by their legs, muscles, against the ground determines how high they can jump. A stronger player can exert more force, resulting in greater acceleration upwards. 2. Engineering. Engineers use F equals MA to design vehicles, buildings, and machinery. Understanding how forces act on structures helps ensure they can withstand various loads and stresses. Three, physics experiments. In a laboratory setting, students can conduct experiments to measure the acceleration of different masses when a constant force is applied. This hands-on experience reinforces the concept of F equals MA. Conclusion. The formula F equals MA is a cornerstone of classical mechanics, providing a clear and concise way to understand the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. By grasping this fundamental concept, we can better analyze and predict the motion of objects in our world, from everyday activities to complex engineering challenges. Understanding this relationship not only enhances our comprehension of physics, but also equips us with the tools to apply these principles in real-life situations.